Boo! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel! Um, I know I look a little crazy right now. Um, I'm actually refreshing my hair um, for my Halloween costume, which will be a later reveal. Um, I just, I have to make another video. I'm gonna have to, because... I've been taking care, helping my mom take care of my auntie that I've talked about in previous videos, and I haven't really been able to make videos, because one of the day I come home, I'm over there for like three days, and then I come home, and I just want to sleep, or yes, drink a little bit, <sighs> but um, you know, I just want to sleep, whatever, and I, I have, to, I'll have Three more videos to make, well, two after this, and today is the 29th, tomorrow's the 30th, and then it'll be Halloween, which I'm also making a video tomorrow, and so it's gonna be boom, 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 like one right after the another, another after this, but, um, Lord have mercy, looks like I murdered somebody, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just really need to do another video. Um, and I thought, what better time than while well, my hair's sitting? Uh, well, yeah, I just put the red in. Like, it's going to be the same exact way as it was. It's just going to be a brighter, darker red into the orangey beach color. And then, of course, my blonde, which I have to uh, bleach again, actually, because there's a little bit of peach left in it from when I did the fire bangs. Yeah, a long time ago, like three months ago, but uh, four, five, I don't know. I don't even know. But um, anyways, enough of that. Once again, if you don't like talking, then this ain't the channel for you. And yes, I'm going to have a beer. Thank you. I think I deserve a beer. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I thought I would do another scary story. True scary story that happened to me. So, yeah, this is my hair dyeing shirt. I know it's white. Whoa. <laughs> but, um, so today we're going to do a scary story. And yes, I smoke cigarettes. If you don't already know that, and I'm going to have a cigarette right now. So I tend to tell stories better if I uh, am smoking, really. So we're going to talk about the big one, the big story I've been trying to save up for, which is really scary actually um like i've said in pre in my previous true scary stories the uh, yeah that one <laughs> i'm not drunk that's only my second beer <laughs> i'm an alcoholic not a barbie doll i'm just kidding but um this 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 is a very scary story but like i've said in previous videos i'm very prone to spirits so I can see you know bad spirits yada yada if you want to hear more about that just go watch my other video because I've, I've already wasted like three minutes talking so but this is a talky video so yes it's driving me nuts that I don't look how I normally look Ugh. anyway <laughs> what we have to do to look lovely as girls or if you dye your hair then you know it sucks Ugh. Well, it's just a long process. Anyway, let's get to the story before I get off on ten more subjects and it ain't even the subject that I'm trying to talk about. Alright, so. Let's see here. Oh, why am I drinking right now, actually? I'm going to be drunk as a hoot owl on Saturday, but whatever. Speaking of drinking, we were actually uh, drinking this day. Um, this is also when I lived with my dad. Basically, my dad's house is really haunted. <laughs> uh, I know me and my stepmom had talked about, um, an experience that we had had together, um, when I lived there. We, we talked about that, too. So, if you want that video, I'll link that below, too. So, I'll link all my scary videos, which I only have two. But, um, this one, this one, she was there, but it, it was... She was upstairs. We went in the bed. Okay, Let, let's just start from the beginning. Okay, so basically, yeah, once again, when me and my boyfriend lived there, um, and there had always been a lot of activity there, um, so there's that. Um, 
But this was crazy, dude. Okay, so stuff had been happening. Like, that had happened. This, what happened with me and my stepmom actually happened before this happened. Like, I don't know. What, if you're watching this, what would you say? About a week before this happened? Like, the big thing when the Bible? And I'll continue. Um, but, yeah, I guess it might have been, like, a week. It may have, it may have been um, quicker than that. I'm not really sure. Um Sorry, that was driving me nuts. I can't stand hair dye on my skin. But, um, I'm telling you what, this... So, we were sitting there, we were drinking, whatever, and, um... Previously, there was this girl that I had met that was the neighbor's new girlfriend. And she used to be into a lot of, like, uh, she used to be into Satanism, and she used to be into Wiccan and Pagan and whatever, which I don't judge nobody. I don't even, I don't talk about religion. I don't, I don't even talk about my religion on here. Um, but, so I will not give my opinions. <laughs> but, whether they are good or bad, I'm not giving my opinion unless y'all ask. But, um... Pretty much, we had told her that we had some activity and it was getting pretty bad. And she pretty much stirred the shit pot, so to say. Um, and after that, she didn't, we didn't really want her over there that much because it got even worse. Which conclude, like ends up being this night. Which, um, we were all sitting in the living room. This is when we used to party in the living room. And I, me and, I don't think me and my boyfriend were really that drunk, but I know my dad was pretty drunk. And we were sitting there. I think I had like two beers, which is whatever, kind of like today. Um, but I think I had like two beers. And then I know that he wouldn't drink that much. My dad was drinking more because we had pretty much, I think I had just got back from picking my boyfriend up from work, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and basically what happened is because my, you know, my dad believes in stuff like that, but he tries to pretend that he doesn't. He's like, okay, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But he'll tell you. He will tell you right there that, that he'll tell you he believes in it. Um, he's experienced a lot of stuff, too. Um, so anyway, like, every time something happened, like, he was never there. And, you know, like I said, he's very hush-hush about stuff like that. So... <clears throat> Pretty much, um, something, it started off with something had pushed my stepmom's cat off of her cat, not my cat. She has a cat, too. Not the black one you see. She has a yellow kitty named Mr. Cattle. But something had pushed him off of a box. And then behind us, like, we saw, like, somebody pushed him. He didn't fall off. It was nothing like that. I don't know why my camera's doing this weird focus thing. I'm not moving my camera, but okay. Uh, <laughs> this should be entertaining. Um, but yeah, and then behind us, these wind, the, the, it, not wind chimes, like a little, this little Christmas carousel thing with chimes all around it that if you press it, it plays or whatever. Lord, my grandma, one of my grandmas has had that for a long time like that. Like nobody was over there. It went off and like somebody had just plucked the whole thing around. It was like, bloop, bloop or ding, 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 or something like that. So, and that's when my dad was like, okay. He's like, okay, because I guess he was experiencing stuff too. He just wasn't saying nothing about. And he's like, I've had enough of this. I'm going to do something about it. So we go down the basement because that's where, like if, like I, we said in the one where my, my, me, me and my stepmom has said that, you know, stuff was in the basement. And that's where the, the main the, the head honcho is. That's where he is. So, uh, <laughs> we went down there, all three of us, pitch black. My dad went down there with the Bible. Um, pretty much, and th this went on for a, a while. Th this went on for about an hour. I don't know, but while, while my dad was in there, because he wouldn't let me in and he wouldn't let my boyfriend in. So, we were just kind of standing at the door, and, like, it was the craziest thing. I do, I never believed in, like, an imp. You know what an imp is? It's like a teeny tiny little, or well not that little, but, you know, like a little devil thing. I don't know. Look it up. But it, it 
I never believed in those, ever. And I've seen some crazy shit in my lifetime, I'll tell you that. I'm telling you, I got plenty of stories to take up the rest of probably my whole YouTube would probably be scary stories if I told them all. But the, I tell you, that night I saw them in that basement with my dad. Okay. Now, to speed it up a little bit, um, I was about to go in there and get him because I was like, nope, this isn't funny. Like, this is, the, we're done here. This isn't a joke. Like, this obviously is a real thing. Like, no, we're not doing this. And all of a sudden, there's something in those woods out there. So, I, my attention turns to the woods, and I'm just, like, in this weird, like, trance. And then my boyfriend's trying to hit me. It, well, not hit me, but be like, hey, 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 are you okay? Hey, what's going on? I was like, and I couldn't get out of it. All of a sudden, I heard my dad say something about, I don't know, he was saying some prayer or something. I don't know. He was praying or something. And I couldn't really make out what he was saying. And then I kind of snapped too. And I was like, that's it, daddy. I'm coming in after you. And as soon as I do, like, go to move, we hear something bang up against the wall. And I'm like, what was that? And I'm like, you okay? You okay? Because it's like pitch black in there. Like, you can't see anything. Like, the shit that I saw was like at the beginning. But we're not the beginning. You know what I mean? Like, the the front, the front, the front of the, the doorway, the doorway, the beginning. <laughs> so, um, and he didn't answer me. And as soon as I get in there, because my dad went straight in, like straight in. This is a big basement. My dad goes straight in and goes all the way to the back because I saw, you can only see by a cigarette butt. That's how, when I was little, you know, if the power went out, then I would see a cigarette butt and I'd be like, oh, there's my dad. I heard not his butt, but it lit up. And, you know, and <clears throat> pretty much as I go in to be like, oh my God, he comes out the opposite side, which is really hard to get through because there's a washer and dryer. There's all sorts of just everything piled up right there. And he comes out, and he's got dirt all over him. And he's sitting there, he's like, close the door, close the door, close the door. And we're like, oh, God. So we're sitting there, we're trying to get it and close it and lock it and everything. And I was like, what happened? He's like, that son of a bitch threw me up against the wall. I was like, really? That's what happened. And I was like, what happened to the Bible? And he said, I left it back there. And he said it got, like, in his face. And then he went to put it out, like, put the Bible in front of him, and it slammed him up against the wall. And Tina actually heard that upstairs, up, not upstairs, there actually are no stairs from the upstairs to the main part to the basement. So, yeah. And I don't know, it was just really creepy. And when he came out of there, he was sober as a judge, I'll tell you that right now. And that was really scary. And then just stuff kept, stuff kind of kept happening that night, but... I don't know, just ever since that girl went in there and was trying to say, oh, well, I can get rid of your spirits for you, and trying to tell me that she saw, this is before that, but trying to tell me, like, there's one over there, and one over there, and one, I was like, can you actually see them? Because that's how I knew it was bullshit, because I can actually see stuff, and I was like, no, they're just, like, one behind you, probably because you're fucking psycho, excuse my language. <laughs> that's a little rougher than shit, but... And then there was one, like, standing over, I don't know, but, dude, it was crazy. Like, it was actually scary. You can, I, it, it was crazy, and I don't care if anybody believes me because I was there and it happened, so, I don't know. But, um, yeah, well, it only took 13 minutes to tell that one. Um, but, yeah, that was, that was really, that was really creepy. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just figured I would want to share that one because I that like I said that's probably the creepiest thing that I have experienced besides the fallen angel that I saw or a gargoyle or whatever you want to call it demon I don't know which is a story for another day but um yeah that's definitely it in like spirit wise not cryptic because this is a cryptid that I saw that I'm talking about about the fallen angel thing that was a cryptid. Like, spirit-wise, like, ghosts and spirits, this was the scariest thing that I've been through. Like, it was, it was really, really bad. <sighs> but, um, anyways, um, uh, probably need to go rinse this out of my hair now and do something to it and, you know, look like I murdered somebody, even though you can't tell because it's in black and white. But, uh, <laughs> um, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed.
enjoyed that, and I hope that you're still enjoying my 13 nights of Halloween. And how come every time I end a video, I say Halloween like that? <laughs> but I hope you all are enjoying that and you enjoyed that story, which is a true story, by the way. Um, like I said, take it as you will, but yeah. Hope you all enjoyed that. And if you've ex experienced something like that bad, then please leave in the comments. And please subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of people watching my videos now and like nobody's subscribing. Uh, just subscribe. I do other shit, guys. <laughs> Anyways, but anyway, y'all have a good one and we'll holler at you later and have a happy Halloween.